Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Hope you're feeling fine. This is something I usually say when I'm on my uh, radio show, but um, I really do hope you're feeling fine this morning. It is Sunday morning. It is the 21st of January. Can you believe it? We're almost at the end of the month. Good grief. I, I really, really just can't fathom it. Anyway, I thought I'd jump on here quickly just to um, say howdy. I'm still on my effort to post regularly. Not doing so well, but uh, I thought, actually, what I will do this morning, I'm on my way to the gym, so I thought rather than post after my gym session, let's see what it's like posting before my gym session. Of course, what this requires is that I give some thought to what I'm actually going to post about. And quite often, inspiration doesn't come as quickly or as easily as one would like. Um, anyway, if you've, um, this is the first time you're seeing this post, my name is Sylvia Smith. I am the curator of a couple of Facebook pages. One is uh, Money Matters with Sylvia Smith. The other is Incline Training Consultants Limited. And the other page is uh, The Learning Curve uh, online. So I'm, I'm running those three pages really to, to kind of represent the things that I'm interested in. I'm interested in, in money and personal finance because I'm learning a lot. Uh, Incline Training is my training consultancy and we're under the, the, the name under which I do a lot of my um, freelance work. And then learning, the learning curve online is something I have set up to produce some podcasts. Unfortunately, I have not quite got round to that yet because um, I'm still struggling uh, with what my focus will be on that. And um, it's, it's, it's probably a mixture between social work and, and other things that I learn in terms of leadership and so on. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not there yet. And I guess one of the reasons I am posting is because I'm also learning as I go along and I'm, I'm bringing you along with me on the journey. So um, I hope it's not too much for you. Anyway, it's uh, great to be here. Great to say howdy. And um, I thought today I would just have a quick chat about a couple of wins that I'm having in my mind so far. Uh, firstly, in terms of personal finance, and secondly, in terms of health and well-being. Um, so that's really what my focus is, is, is today. Uh, let me say before I forget, if you would like to follow me, do just press the subscription button um, uh, underneath this, this post because it's actually on YouTube and um, that will mean that you will receive notifications whenever I post. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, as 2018 continues, I improve, I really get my head around the whole kind of um, social media thing uh, and I become more consistent. That's what I'm aiming for in 2018. Uh, as far as um, my vlogs are concerned. So, you know, watch this space and hopefully my growth will assist your growth because that's what it's all about, us helping each other. All right, so let's get on with it. The personal wins I'm happy with at the moment. Um, since about the spring of last year, I've been really aiming to reduce my personal debt and a big uh, factor in all of that was my credit card debt and my aim um, when I became involved with some people who, who taught me a lot about personal finance, my aim was to clear my credit cards one by one using, using um, a system called debt stacking. Um, essentially, uh, this is stuff that I've learned about online, but essentially what, what, what that system is about is that you clear 
your credit cards debt one 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 card at a time and I am happy to say that I've managed to achieve um, clearing one card at a time to the point now I only have one more card to clear and I have every confidence that I will be able to do that um, before the end of the year I'm really attacking that and um, making some really good progress I'm really really happy uh, that I've managed to reduce my personal debt to one remaining card um, what I'm not clear about however is once I've cleared that card you know how to how to um, continue uh, managing my personal finances without credit and that's what I'm working on at the moment and I'll share with you as I learn more on that um, I think um, I think part of what we were led to believe gosh it's, it's snowing outside it's sleet out there I'm, I'm actually um, posting from from Hayes Middlesex which is in um, well on the outskirts of London and it's sleeting out there horrible day horrible day weather wise but anyway that's not going to stop us from feeling positive um, yeah, so one of the things we were kind of led to believe, I think, certainly in the 80s and 90s, was that, you know, credit was absolutely essential and, you know, credit enabled you to have what you wanted more immediately. Uh, and this got a lot of us into difficulties as, as we sort of increased in age. Um, so, you know, and our financial education hasn't really been great. I know mine certainly hasn't been been great and uh, I'm sure uh, you or many of you can resonate with, with that whole that whole issue um, so yeah it's a great feeling to feel as though you have some kind of order and control in terms of one's personal finances and um, you know there's nothing worse than having sort of this loose around your neck of this constant having to um, you know, service these debts. It's just, just dreadful. You just feel as though you're in a, a straitjacket a lot of the time. Um, so I'm really pleased about that, really pleased about that. And, and then secondly, uh, I've been doing really well with my um, intake, food intake. Yeah, let's call it that, food intake. I've tried to um, track everything that I'm consuming and that I mean I mean you know I have tried things like tracking it online tracking it via my mobile phone on, on an app but you know the best and easiest thing for me I have a book and every time I eat anything I just make a note of it what I've done is I've um, split the pages into dates and then I just track everything I eat. So there's a real visual representation of what I've eaten for the day. Um, some days not as good as others. Let me add that one in quickly. But um, for the most part, it's making me a lot more mindful and a lot more conscious. I have tried it before. Don't get me wrong. It's not as though um, people haven't advised me or I hadn't learned or heard about um, tracking one's intake in the past. But I don't know... 2018 I'm really really trying to to move towards developing new habits and using uh, little life hacks that's going to help me to to achieve that so I'm really feeling quite positive in terms of my personal finance and my um, my intake in terms of food um, and you know it feels good to be mindful of that what I am though very conscious of is that um, we can start off strong and then by somewhere in the mid some, somewhere in the year it, it can kind of flake off a bit so I'm conscious of that I've had that experience before where I start off strong and then somewhere because I'm human like we all are um, somewhere mid-year emotionally things happen and then what do you do when well what do I do when emotionally I'm feeling somewhat stressed and so on I want to eat 
um, it, that makes me feel good and I go for foods that are sweet that that make me feel momentarily um, satisfied and happy and then it all goes downhill again so being conscious of that sharing that with you being accountable um, with you is uh, hopefully going to help me to be a lot more mindful as far as that's concerned so those are my two wins I wanted to share with you today as I say, if you do want to um, keep in touch, follow me, please do subscribe uh, by pressing the bell under this video. And um, yeah, here's to continued growth, development and, um, and progress. Have a fantastic day. Uh, have a fantastic week whenever you may watch this. And uh, as I always say, peace.